Diarrhea is when someone passes loser water your stool at least 3 times over 24 hours. Diarrhea is divided into two main types. The first one is acute diarrhea that lasts for less than 14 days and chronic diarrhea which lasts 14 days or more. Diarrheal illness is one of the most common causes of children mortality in the world, so it is critical for health providers to know how to manage this situation. There are several causes of acute diarrhea. Among them, viral gastroenteritis is the most common cause. Other etiologies can be any of the following. Bacterial infection, food intolerance, parasites like giardia, allergy to medicines, intestinal diseases such as inflammatory bowel disease, and surgery of the gastrointestinal tract such as appendectomy or diverticulitis. Before starting any management, the doctor should diagnose the type of the diarrhea. Diarrhea patients can be classified into three main categories. First, acute watery diarrhea means passing watery stool at least three times over 24 hours. Second, dysentery or invasive diarrhea means when a patient has obvious blood in the stool that has started in less than 14 days. And the last type is persistent diarrhea means a loser bloody stool that lasts more than 14 days. For diagnosing the etiology, the doctor should assess other characteristics of the diarrhea. For example, the appearance of the stool sometimes can give us a clue, such as cholera. Almost all of patients with cholera have watery diarrhea, with rice water appearance. Dehydration is the most common cause of mortality in children with diarrhea. So the degree of dehydration should be evaluated at the first step based on clear history and physical examination. WHO has designed a guideline for assessment of dehydration according to four clinical features. General appearance, eyes, thirst degree, and skin patches. In children with less than 5% of dehydration, the estimated fluid deficit is less than 50 ml per kilogram. In mild to moderate dehydration, 50 to 100, and in severe dehydration, more than 100 ml per kg is needed to replenish the fluid loss. Treatment of acute diarrhea consists of correcting fluid volume and electrolytes. Fluid correction has two phases. First is maintenance phase. Maintenance therapy should be done to replenish the ongoing losses of water and electrolytes. For calculation of maintenance volume, we use a formula. For the first 10 kg of the weight, 100 mg of fluid is needed for each kilogram. For second 10 kg of the weight, 50 mg of fluid is needed per each kilogram. And if the weight of the child is more than 20 kg, we give 20 mg of fluid for every 1 kg. For example, if you want to calculate a maintenance volume for a 25 kg child, we give 1000 mg for first 10 kg of the weight because each kilogram requires 100 mg of fluid. The second 10 kg of the weight are given 500 mg and the last 5 kg are given 100 mg, means 5 multiplied by 20 mg of fluid. So the total maintenance dose for the patient is 1000 plus 500 plus 100 mg or 1600 mg of fluid over 24 hours. Second phase of the fluid therapy is replacement therapy and it should be continued until the resolve of all signs and symptoms and the patient must be able to urinate. For calculating the replacement phase, we use a simple formula. 10 multiple weight, multiple dehydration percent. For example, if a patient weighs 10 kg and has a dehydration percentage of 5, then the replacement phase volume is 10 by 10 by 5 which is 500 mg. And finally, we should add both maintenance and replacement phase volumes together and start infusing it for the patient over 24 hours. For dehydration therapy, several intravenous fluids are available. They are chosen based on the electrolyte levels. We'll talk about different intravenous fluids in a later video.